Ketosis Made Easy If you're thinking about starting a keto diet, then you've probably heard a lot of hoopla about ketosis. Ketosis is one of the biggest benefits of the keto diet, but very few people take the time to explain what it is or why it matters. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an easy rundown of ketosis. Let's get started. What is ketosis? Ketosis is a metabolic process. It is your body's natural process of burning fat for fuel. Ketosis turns on when your body doesn't have enough carbohydrates to burn energy from glucose. Ketosis occurs when there are a lot of ketones in your blood. Ketones can break through the brain blood barrier, but they don't require insulin as a transporter like glucose. How do I reach ketosis? You can only reach ketosis by restricting your carb intake. You need to eat less than 50 grams of carbohydrates a day for about three to four days before ketosis actually kicks in for most healthy people. After that, you must maintain your low carbohydrate intake to sustain your ketosis. Your exact body and needs will determine how many carbohydrates you're allowed to consume. For instance, some people will only be allowed to eat around 20 carbohydrates a day, while others will be able to eat around 40. Those with a more active lifestyle tend to eat more carbs. What matters most is that you do what's best for your body to safely and effectively kickstart your ketosis. You will restrict your carb intake by, you probably guessed it, cutting out foods that are high in carbohydrates. Bread, fruit, tubers, and legumes are some of the top food groups you must cut out to reach ketosis. What should I expect from ketosis? Ketosis has both positive and negative side effects. For most people, the positive side effects outweigh the negative by a long shot. Most studies show that ketosis is great for weight loss since it burns fat instead of glucose. Other studies show that it helps reduce the risk of heart disease. Those with diabetes or prediabetes will especially benefit from a keto diet. Due to ketosis, they can burn fuel through ketones instead of glucose, which requires insulin. At the same time, there are some drawbacks to going into ketosis. For example, most people feel bad the first week of their ketosis. This is often called the keto flu, although there is no official medical condition. The following are possible side effects of ketosis. Headache, fatigue, brain fog, irritability, trouble sleeping, constipation, nausea, dizziness, sugar cravings, cramps, sore muscles. Final thoughts. To recap, ketosis is your body's natural response for burning fuel if there are not enough carbohydrates in your system. The only way to reach ketosis is to restrict your carbohydrate intake. If you do this and reach ketosis, you can expect to lose weight but there could be some negative side effects to look out for as well. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz.